Hey there, good morning. It's Motivation Monday. I'm excited to have a special guest on with me today and I will give her a second to hop on. But I'm curious, first and foremost, how is your Monday? Are you excited? Don't you just love a fresh new week and a opportunity to prove that you are ready to take action? Carmel joining me today. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. I was wondering if my <laughs> Wi-Fi connection was going out. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you on today. You too. Thanks for having me on. Can you hear me yes, okay? I can. Can you prop your phone up on your steering wheel so it won't jiggle? Um, I could hold it right here. Does that there you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is why we have to bring with us our traveling tripods. <laughs> That's what I need. When, when we need to be live. Okay, so tip for all of you entrepreneurs. The traveling tripod that I love is the foamy one. It has three little legs, and you can get it on Amazon. It's less than $30. So Is it the one hashtag. that you can? No excuses. <laughs> Is it the one you can actually bend and it will wrap around your steering wheel? Uh, it's not that one. It's actually a okay. cheap version of that one. <laughs> okay. It works really well. Yeah. Okay. Just search it on Amazon. In fact, maybe we should do a giveaway for one today. Would you all like that? Give away a little tripod for you to take with you on the go. Okay. So in order to earn the tripod, you just need to comment and share and comment and share. And whoever enters or comments or shares is entered. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to get you all fired up and motivated to start your week with some inspiration. And I'll tell you what, um, I woke up this morning feeling quite frustrated. And so guess what? I had to tell myself, Elise, get your act together. It is time to show up and behave and what or behave and show up for what you stand for right it's so easy for us to pretend or hide from what we are what we're meant to do in the world because we're entrepreneurs mm. we work from home don't you think Carmel yeah. oh absolutely a hundred percent right and so if you're challenged by any setback it's easy to be like throw in the towel today who cares um, but when you've got appointments on your calendar and there are people counting on you you don't have that Come in, come in. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's my network or yours. Probably mine. I don't know. Or mine. We don't Facebook know. has been very funny lately. Mm -hmm. So funny. I agree. So in that case, if you all are seeing us now, enter to win our tripod giveaway by commenting or sharing or both. Um, if you're watching the replay, type replay. That will enter you as well. Um, if we pause, just hang tight because Facebook does buffer and bring us back on and then of course you can always catch the replay later and it won't have the interruptions so Carmel is a former esthetician who when I met her was struggling with a lot of issues with her hands because of the very um how do we call it detailed work you had to do in the same yes. position oh right? gosh yes oh and my gosh like, yes yeah very Unstover, meticulous yes neck <laughs> yeah I don't know yeah. how these ladies do it like all day. Ooh, I know. Well, anymore. I know you did. I know, <laughs> I know, right? Take a deep breath. You're not there anymore. <laughs> so um, to kick off our Motivation Monday, what I, did, what I wanted to do with Carmel today was have her come on because um, I think that it took a major mindset shift and um, almost like rewiring some of your personality and some of the habitual way of thinking about what was even possible in order mm -hmm. for you to create the success that you've created now. So why don't you share with us a little bit of that background story? 
<clears throat> well, I, I have to, I think it stems from what just particular one individual that told me, basically, I sucked as a leader. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, you know, just not having faith in me. And so even uh -huh. though that was several years ago, mm -hmm. it stuck with me. And so when Elise presented this opportunity to me, I said no at first. And then um, the other part of it was the fact that I didn't believe that I could get anywhere with this business. But since it was free, let's see what I, let's see what I could do. Mm -hmm. And it literally took, <clears throat> I would say six to eight months before I had this, like, I, I wanted to stop living small. I wanted to stop. for you Carvel <laughs> being the next <laughs> there you go <laughs> going. And, then, uh, and then just stop n the negative doubt so I would focus in on Pinterest for inspiration for positive quotes so if you see me post um, a quote on my Facebook page it's not only for me but for people that are watching because majority of the time I have people saying thanks so much for posting that I needed it Mm -hmm. Thanks for the reminder. So not only did I leverage quotes, but I also learned that the power of our mind is, our mindset is so powerful that if we don't believe that we will succeed, then we won't succeed. So those seeds of doubts that we plant in our own seed are, are in our own head, is it because of everyone else or what has been said in the past? It's what you planted yourself. So yep. I think that well, that, like, go ahead. I was, I was going to ask for the viewers, um, does that resonate with you? Have any of you ever had somebody in your family or your circle of friends that told you you couldn't do something? Um, <clears throat> we once had a leader in our network that told someone in her team that they were too pretty to build their business. <laughs> and that person that received that messaging went into a deep, dark place. Now, is it that leader's place to tell someone that they're too pretty to build a business? Um, no. It's nobody's place to tell you what you are capable of. That is your God-given right. God has gifted you with a personality and a gift set and experience set that has prepared you to walk into the fire today. And... There's probably someone at some point in your life that has spoke negativity over you mm -hmm. and tried to what we call put you in the box. And the reason people do that is because they are living in their own box and they don't feel very comfortable watching you expand and grow and live in abundance. And so watch out because those <laughs> negative Nellies are out there and they are looking for every opportunity to pull you back down with them. That's why we always say it's so important to surround yourself with people who are uplifting and inspiring, who are speaking about abundance and love and limitless potential, who are plugging you into resources so that you can grow personally. <laughs> That's where you're going to find that you will be able to reach your fullest potential is when you can shut out the people who are planting the seeds of doubt and tap into those people and resources that lift you up and inspire you and push you beyond your comfort zone. So Carmel, talk to people about that. What was the motivator for you to push beyond what you thought was your potential? Just the fact that one, I wanted more. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to stop the cycle of where we were at financially Two, I knew that I was through these messages of gratitude. I was getting the validation of the reason why right. I was doing this. Right. And oh. 
I think I truly believe that the um, journaling has helped me. And it was sometime in spring that I literally mm -hmm. wrote down, do whatever Elise tells you to do. Because <laughs> that really was a huge shift for me because you, you still today, after how many years? What is it? Like Jackson's 11. I know. He was and what, Olivia's three or four when we met. Yes. And Olivia, and Olivia was, was a baby. Yeah. Nursing so in a diaper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it just is, it, you're constantly reminding us how important it is to change yeah. our mindset. If we can't change our mindset of <clears throat> living small or living in mediocrity, mm -hmm. then it's not going to change. And the only way right. to change that is um, through personal development key yeah. and surrounding yourself with people that do uplift you. However, remember that there will always in your journey be someone that's going to try to drag you down. Yeah. So. And you know what I see uh, those people as now? I see those people as, um, how do I call it? They're like the billboard that flashes at me to stay in my lane, <laughs> stay focused on my mission. That's just simply a distraction. It is not mm -hmm. a truth. It's a lie. Like mm -hmm. really what it does is it's almost like this reminder of I am on the right track. Like the more resistance you get from those around you, the more mm, quote -unquote absolutely. haters that you have on social media, um, whatever it is, they are going to try and dim your light. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know you're on the right track. Right. You just got to put up the hand and be like, mm, nope, <laughs> not today. <laughs> and literally that physical activity and you can even do that to yourself when your own stinking thinking starts to come in you can mm -hmm. even do that to yourself and be like nope not today get yeah. your act together like that's the thing i say in my head elise get your act together <laughs> like you gotta show up and here's the thing that i've noticed is when i get my act together and i show up anyway despite my own doubts despite the challenges i have in my personal life for example, my house is under construction. <laughs> I, my, um, I have an empty office I'm standing in right now. And when I had my son set up my light this morning, he comes out and he goes, okay, mom, your light is set up. But what is that smell in your office? <laughs> I'm like, that's your dog that decided to use it as a bathroom. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever, here I am. Like, this is what we have to deal with. And it's, you know, these are the things that in the past, I will tell you for sure, would have me break down and crying and be in tears over all of the challenges and all the signs are pointing towards the fact that this is a failure and I suck and nobody likes me and, right? Like, I'm Absolutely. Too busy, things are too hard. Yeah. All of the things that we tell ourselves to try and keep ourselves small and safe and not really growing beyond our comfort mm -hmm. zone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So how would you say, like, what did you have to change daily? You said you did journaling. I think the I am statements were huge mm -hmm. because any time, and it didn't have to be just in the morning. I would still do them in the morning, but every right. time in the middle of the day, in the later part of the day that I had mm -hmm. some doubt or some yeah. negative thought pop in, I literally would pick up my journal and start writing the I am's. Right. And again, it's something that I never believed in, but holy mm -hmm. cow, like I seriously do not know. There are times that I, I say to myself, how did I get here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, just the fact that I was able to change that part mm -hmm. of what's between my ears right. has been tremendously um, huge for me. And, you know, it's almost... It, it really paints a picture and you start to see it more and more of who does it mm -hmm. as your kids do. Right. And yeah. trying to shift their minds. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. In fact, I, I found a vision board in my son, the back wall of my son's closet. <gasps> nice. Yeah. With a plan of how he was going to achieve it, how many lawns he had to mow, and then how many lawns Sweet. he had to mow to pay off the lawnmower he wanted to buy, which then would help him achieve the vision that he had. Oh, that's so awesome. Right? <laughs> yeah. And I didn't coach him through that. That is just something he picked up by being a child of a family of entrepreneurial parents. Yes. I mean, that, you all, is a gift that we give our kids. So yes. I can't see anyone's comments. So I'm trusting that you are commenting. Don't forget you comment, you enter to win our tripod oh. giveaway. Um, but 
I think that the important thing, um, there's a couple of things to understand. Like, first and foremost, one of the, the habits that Carmel developed was the power of the I am statements. The, those two words, I am, are the two most powerful words in the English language. You can Google that video on YouTube to see it by Wayne Dwyer. But essentially what this means is these are the two words that are creating words. I, as in myself, I take ownership, am, am doing right? So the reason that affirmations work, you all, is because we create our reality with our thoughts. When we attach feeling to our thoughts and the words, those, the I am statements, the reason that it creates the reality in the future and then it comes to pass is because we are creating our future through changing the way that we think. When we change the way we think, we change the way we feel which in turn affects our habits. Because 90% of what you think day in and day out is the same thoughts habitually because those neural pathways have very deep grooves. How do we change that? By creating I am statements. These statements of creation, for some people they say manifest the life of their dreams. Some people will say create the life of their dreams. But there is one key component that some people forget about. So you write down the I am statement the truth. Mm -hmm. um, one of my I am statements is I am abundantly blessed mm -hmm. and I am available to receive all of the riches that have been predestined for me. Like I am willing to live a lifestyle of health, wellness, and luxury, right? Because these are all things that if you don't name it and claim it, then you're just going to live on that hamster wheel and create the sameness day in and day out, year in and year out. So, um, Carmen, I'll share one of your I am statements. Um, I think one of the biggest ones I constantly write down is I am confident because mm -hmm. I don't always sit mm -hmm. in there. <laughs> but but it, I, the, I think the interesting thing about that is it does help. It does right. help. And it makes you believe. Right. Um, I am abundantly blessed, which I have definitely learned from you. Um, I don't know how I phrase this one, but there is something that I talk about all the time on my I am's about struggle um, mm. and how grateful I am, I am for the struggles yes. because, oh, yeah. because those are the reasons why our, our, our lives change course. Mm -hmm. We have to appreciate it and learn from it in order to grow. So yes. I think I almost always will, will do that as part of my I am's and my, my gratitude. Um, okay. I just thought of a great one for that. Okay. I am willing to experience struggle to increase my strength. Yes, absolutely. I am willing to experience struggle to increase my strength. And guess what, you all? This is pretty cool. Um, in order <laughs> for, in order, you know, okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of analogies. Um, in order to become stronger, we have to lift weights, which actually breaks down the muscle, then the muscle rebuilds stronger mm -hmm. and more. <laughs> in order to, um, when a farmer or a gardener plants seeds, that little seed has a very, very, very hard shell. It is very hard to permeate it. The shell must, must, must actually break in order for the seed uh -huh. to grow. Think about that. Almost everything must be broken first before it can grow. So That's awesome. I am mm -hmm. willing to embrace the struggle to increase my strength. Write that down in the comments. Um, I feel like there's so much about what we do day in and day out is about pushing our comfort zone and leaving our comfort zone. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's talk to them what we that. do. Right. Well, what, you know, being in network marketing, number one, is yeah. always a challenge from a person that is, has only been taught that, a nine to five is how you succeed right. where, well, you know, security. security. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, we're always challenged with that. Um, yeah. that cultural conditioning. Yes, absolutely. I, sorry. I keep getting these messages. Sorry. Right. Um, <laughs> shoot. I lost my train of thought. We were just talking about how you have to leave your comfort zone in order to grow and really become the person that you were meant to be. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the fact that network marketing has this, uh, uh this negative connotation, at least some, mm -hmm. um, yeah. the fact that you might be representing something <laughs> that, mm -hmm. um, 
is a fad <laughs> quote, yeah. quote, or right. doesn't work. Like there's always constant negative thoughts. However, you have to remember one, your story Two, mm -hmm. I, for me, especially with what we do, hearing people's story about how their lives are transformed, especially this coming up Tuesday, right? That call of thankful Tuesday, yeah. bring your, bring your tissues because yeah. that will remind you those yeah. are the things that will build your confidence in what you do mm. is the validation mm -hmm. of not mm -hmm. what it's done for you, but what it has done for other people. And that yes. your purpose is to help other people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so this brings up a point for me. Perfect. Dovetail. Um, so <laughs> this is my point. Like you guys, I live twice on food stamps. I know how, how it stinks to be stuck there. And I know Carmel drowning in debt. Same thing. Like that depletes your confidence. Right? Mm, absolutely. Like, yes. That tears a person down. However, I made a decision to be refined, not defined by my circumstances. So write yes. that down. I will be refined, not defined by my circumstances. Because the truth is your circumstances are, it's a, it's a season of preparation, right? It's your mm -hmm. winter. Your spring will come. Spring always comes. <laughs> and that's a very appropriate analogy because right now I'm looking at everything is covered in snow, right? <laughs> and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. But I know spring will come. It might be in five months, but it'll come. <laughs> so um, right now in this moment, I want you to adopt an attitude of I know like I know. Because you might not really believe what's possible for you. But if you could trust Carmel, if you could trust myself, if you could trust Kevin and Claudia and Andrea and um, Heidi, some of the leaders that are watching this video right now, if you could just trust the vision that we have for you and the belief in your potential, mm -hmm. if you could invite God into the conversation in your heart, whether it's God or your higher power or spirit or nature or better self, however you call that spirit of creation, Invite it into you in this moment and say, I am ready to step into my purpose. Use me to create impact. Use me to touch people's lives. Use my story to create hope and be that lifeline for others. That, you guys, will take you to the next level in your business, your personal growth, your spiritual growth, and your potential. That very um, action of pausing right now and just saying, Come into me, God, or spirit, or whatever you call it. There's no judgment around that from me. But you to make that decision and invite into the conversation and then begin to access the strength that comes from that place. Because it is limitless. It is limitless. It is as deep and wide and huge as the universe. There are no boundaries for you. There is nothing that's going to hold you back from your potential. When you access that part of you that is already connected, that is already part of the truth, it's our brains that keep us separated. Mm -hmm. It's our humanness that keeps us separated. I love, I love, um, have you ever heard that quote? It's something like, we are simply spiritual beings having a human experience. It's like, a good point. Yes. Right? When I think about like the whole scope and scale of what we have here at our fingertips, and I look at, I mean, the, tr the very fact that we have the internet and how we're connected and we all have a microcomputer in the palm of our hands that we have access to 24-7, I mean, hello, if you're not feeling lit up by potential, I don't know what's going to light that fire for you. Right, <laughs> right. Maybe asking for God to use you. That was literally my prayer mm -hmm. in tears on my knees on my kitchen floor one morning was that prayer of desperation, knowing there was something more, knowing I was in my way, knowing that if I maybe asked for the guidance, it might come to me. Well, sure enough, when you start to be available to the guidance, the next step will appear. The resources will appear. The people that uplift and inspire you will appear. Like that is how incredible what we have to work with is. It's limitless. So what do you think? Um, the thing that's coming to my mind is as, as you talk about that, if you're not implementing any of what she says and you are stuck, I challenge you to put maybe one or two of the things that she's saying <laughs> because it will change. Yeah. Success leaves clues. I'm a living, 
uh, <laughs> testimony of implementing something that she has said <laughs> that has truly changed my life. And for that, I am so grateful, Elise. So grateful. Oh. <laughs> I'm just happy that you were open and ready. Yes, thank God. Because, yes. well, and, but really, it's not something that a person can do by themselves. Like, no. inspiring change and transformation in others takes a community. And that's mm. what we all are to each other, is a community, mm -hmm. a family. And we are holding each other at the highest level of potential without judgment, right? I, I mean, we've had plenty of people that have been hard to work with. But I always hold that space for them at the table. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's their choice if they decide to turn their back on this potential and this opportunity. It's not because of me and I, because I'm a bad person or whatever negative things those people like to throw around <laughs> to try and create the doubt. Because it's not going to tear me down because I've got my vision. I know my higher purpose. And I know the transformation that I can help inspire in people. Mm -hmm. And that's just because I've asked God to use me and I've mm -hmm. asked to get out of my own way so that I can help touch people's hearts and bring them to the next level of their greatness. And I think as leaders that that is like one of our number one responsibilities. Get out of codependency. Don't worry about what they're saying about you behind your back. Mm -hmm. Do your best. Show up. Leaders are readers. So keep learning. And this is funny. I saw a quote this morning, you guys. It said, you keep praying to God for a sign, and it's gathering dust on your shelf. <laughs> like, that's spot on if I've never heard spot on. Um, oh, the other good. thing is, if you've ever told yourself you can't afford to invest in your personal development, like buying the book or listening to the audio or maybe attending the retreat, if you keep telling yourself you can't afford it, which lies are you believing? Like, whose voice is that? Right. Because you can afford whatever you decide you can afford. I know you can. Right. You wouldn't have a closet full of unused things <laughs> if that <laughs> weren't true. <laughs> Show me your closet. <laughs> it's empty. I'll believe you can't afford it. <laughs> but uh, when I first started down this journey, you know, I literally sold my things on Craigslist. This was before Amazon or Facebook Marketplace. And I literally sold things on Craigslist so that I could invest in my business and my personal development. Because I, I had learned very early on um, from Jim Rohn. He is no longer here on earth. But what an incredible speaker and interpreter of what he read in the Bible. So much of what he teaches is rooted in that. And so I learned from him right from the get-go that you have to invest in yourself because nobody's going to do this for you. They don't mm -hmm. teach you how to think like an entrepreneur in school. We go for 12 to 16, 18 years to school. They don't teach you this. No, no, that no. That should piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> what are we paying those taxes for? Ah. Uh, okay, that's a side rant. That's, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, what else do you want to share? What else? What else? Um... As leaders, I think sometimes we take upon ourselves the responsibility of someone's successes, and really it's not. We can motivate, we can inspire, mm -hmm. but it's up to the individual to put the effort and the work that we might be sharing with them because, right. su again, success leaves clues. So for those of you that are like, woe is me, she's not succeeding or he's mm -hmm. not succeeding. It's really not our responsibility. All mm -hmm. we can do is love them where they're at and inspire them and point them in the direction of helping. And then, yeah. well, that's a different story. So never well, mind. But on that note though, as a leader, if you have someone that's constantly, I, I, I like to think of the people that are, are quite negative and saying, oh, this isn't working, or blah, blah, blah. I always go to the blah, blah, blah. I like to think <laughs> of them as a mosquito. Like, they're always buzzing around in your ear. <laughs> and, you know, you don't have to give them your time and attention. Did you know that? You have yes. my permission. <laughs> you taught me that. <laughs> you don't have to give the buzzing mosquito your time and attention. Swat it away. And then oh, my gosh, I swap mosquitoes all the time. To where it counts, right? Yes. To the change makers, the way showers. 
Like you put your time and energy into those who are going to create big impact in the world. The buzzing mosquito may eventually come around and take ownership and, and, and take back their power because we all have that opportunity. No one's a lost cause. So I will hold the space for the person to be able to step into their greatness, but I can't do it for them, nor right. can I be responsible if, for them if they're not yet ready to step right. into being who they were designed to be. That's fine. Like, I don't care. There's no judgment on where somebody's at, but I'll tell you what, with the, the fast pace that our business has grown, I don't have time for the mosquitoes. <laughs> they can fly and buzz around someone else's ear who's going to actually pay them more attention. I'm just like, whatever. I'm too busy for that. Right. Like, and, and the truth is, like, if you ever feel like you've got too many people buzzing around you and you're frustrated, go on a recruiting blitz. Sponsor people. Team. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because when you go on a sponsoring blitz, and you're helping new people get started in their business and starting their experience, guess what? You simply do not have the time for mm -hmm. the buzzing mosquitoes. Absolutely. Because it is a matter of time. We only have 24-7. And some of that time better be sleeping. <laughs> and me time. Um, so it's very important to put yourself into a position of growth and activity. Because truly, you can use, again, you can use... The, the people that are buzzing around you and creating drama as a, um, almost a reflection in a mirror or, or that billboard again, that says, am I not focused enough on my business and, and being the person I was designed to be? Am I too busy and in other people's business, Kudo, too codependent? Um, because remember, when we're codependent, we are very um, reliant on other people's opinions on our, of us. Mm -hmm. And because their opinions create our worth rather than knowing our worth from within. So that's, that's the good. difference I see. That's in that. good. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Closing thoughts. Um, if you don't do IMs and you don't journal again, like if there is something that you can take away from this video, do those two things. Yeah. Well, and and stop can I add a third step? Yes. Third step. <laughs> okay. You can have the IMs. You can speak them with feeling, but if you don't take the action, mm -hmm. you won't move the needle. So right. I want you to see it as I am creating these I am statements, speaking them with feeling, being consistent in that. And I am taking inspired action. Inspired action is the action that lines up with your soul's calling, right? Mm -hmm. If it's changing people's lives, then that's what you're doing. You're talking to people, you're helping change their lives. And you're doing it a lot. A lot more than anything else, right? Because that's what creates the results. Absolutely. All right. Thank you for inviting you. me. Yes. And then excited time. to have you here. Yeah, Happy everybody Thanksgiving. Watching, thank you and to you. Um, so anyone watching, you can enter the giveaway for the tripod by commenting, sharing. Um, um, we're not seeing your comments, so hopefully yeah. we'll come back after the video and be able to read those comments. And look for us again next week on Monday, same time, same place. We'll be doing this consistently through year end. I'll be interviewing leaders, and um, they'll be able to share struggles and learnings um, that they have overcome to become the incredible leader that they are today. So, Carmel, thank you for your leadership. And being such a willing partner and participant in creating what we have set out to create here, which is really to help others live the life that they deserve. Absolutely. Thank you for the invite. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, you guys signing off, click the follow or subscribe button, whatever Facebook prompts you to do. So you'll see our next live video and inspirational talk. Take a good, take a good, take a good day. <laughs> take care and have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.